Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Esoteric Coaching Channel. You are now watching an update about 45 days without cannabis, green, the devil's lettuce, all that good stuff, the sticky, icky, icky. Yeah, so stick along guys. I'm gonna tell you guys about my journey, how it's been for the past 15 days, what I've been feeling and experiencing, and maybe some things that could help you as well. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go. Welcome back guys. Welcome to the Esoteric Coaching Channel. My name is Kayvon. If you haven't done so already, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date with my no weed updates. And just let you guys know right away, I've also decided to quit drinking alcohol. So I'm gonna talk about that as well. I'm about almost two weeks into that. So I have decided for that one, I'm gonna do updates every 30 days and separate videos. So make sure to subscribe. And now let's get on with the content. So it has been actually over 45 days. I believe it's like day 47 or 48 right now. I haven't checked, but I know I'm over 45 days because I'm overdue for an update. So I was journaling for a while, I uh, did the first 30 days nonstop every single day and I went up to day 40 of journaling and then for the past like week or so, I just haven't been journaling. And I'm gonna talk about that. So this video is gonna be different than the other ones where I'm not gonna read my day by day what I was going through. I think I'm gonna quickly glance over and kind of tell you guys the main points and then from there, it's gonna be just me talking to you guys and there's a lot of things I've been experiencing the past week and been thinking about that I think that you guys might be experiencing as well. After glancing through my notes, there's a trend. So I've been noticing that I have been dreaming a lot more. Now, they're not super vivid, and that could be because I'm not, no, they are vivid, but I don't remember all of them because I don't take the time in the morning to. I kind of, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I wake up in the morning, I'm checking my phone, I'm doing things, I'm right away, where I probably should be stopping, thinking about what I just experienced and analyzing them, because I've come to realize that dreams are really important. For instance, this just happened last night, when I, before I filmed this, is, I had a dream last night that I like took an edible or smoked and lied to my friends about it, pretending like I didn't do it and like lied to my friends that were, I was on a bed with them, my challenges, I didn't want to lose. And you know, I was, I, and I woke up and I was like, wow, like I, that felt so real, first of all, but why would I do that? Like what's bothering me? Why do I feel the need to lie? And I think there's a fear of failure there. There's a fear of judgment. And there's all these things that I could draw from that. So I think it's really important that now that you're dreaming again, if you got this far, you, your dreams are important. Like you, you haven't been having them for a while. Take the time to really sit with them. Like they're not always gonna be a positive message. They're, I mean, they're not negative either. It's just like you have to figure out what that meaning is. And that's the great thing about dreams or like paintings or books. Like. There is no one meaning. You have to find the meaning that resonates with you. It's like horoscopes, like everyone can read them and I'll take something else from it and you'll take something else from it. That's the great thing is that you find the meaning for yourself and just whatever it is, apply it to your life. And then, and then have the uh, ability to, and flexibility to change if it's not working. So that's one thing I noticed. Another thing I noticed is, you know, I, I had cravings here and there, but not so much. Uh, when I went to a Super Bowl, like uh, the Super Bowl party, I had friends there and they were um, smoking, eating edibles, hitting wax pens, rolling joints in front of me, and it didn't bother me at all. People have been smoking up like, with me lately, not with me, but around me, and it doesn't bother me at all. So that's really good. So like, I know my cravings are really independent of me being in situations around weed. Because even when I smoke, I like to smoke by myself a lot of times. Like I used to smoke very socially, and yeah, with a couple friends on road trips and stuff, I smoke, but in general, I like to smoke by myself. So I'm more, prone to having those triggers and those like, you know, like the desire to smoke when I'm by myself. Like whenever I finish jujitsu and it's been a really tough day or whenever I come out of the gym and I worked out really hard, I don't know, I just wanna smoke like, and they come for like five minutes and it leaves. Now, coming back to the black amounts, um, you know, I did stop, I do a lot less than when the first 30 days, I've had about three in the past 15 days or so. I went, you know, nine days without it, I smoked two, then I went another like five days without it, you know, I smoked it, and I haven't smoked one in like four or five days. I know that doesn't make sense, but remember it's been more than 15 days since this update, so it's been like 18, so it does work in the timeline. So it's weird, like those cravings are, they're more, I don't know what it is. Like I see someone smoking, it makes me want to smoke, but when I see someone smoking weed, it doesn't make me want to smoke. So I know that their physical addiction 
of weed is not the same as nicotine. Nicotine is a physical addiction. Like I literally get a craving from someone else doing it. My body feels like it needs it. Where with weed, it's more of a mental addiction. Like it's a coping mechanism for myself. I'm trying to escape certain emotions. I'm trying to escape certain feelings. And I think that's really important because I've noticed, and this is why I chose to stop drinking, is I'm trying to replace other bad habits with new bad habits. Like, you know, I give up weed and then I want to drink. I give up drinking and then I want to give up weed. And then I know if I give up both, I want to smoke cigarettes. If I give up cigarettes, I want to eat more food. So I've been struggling with that. I've been eating more food, um, you know, since I quit drinking. I, I ha Luckily, I haven't been smoking as much nicotine, but even that bothers me that I even want it in the first place and that I've been overeating too. So it's almost like, my body is craving a new way to get a dopamine hit. And like, you know, I don't know if you guys watch my other videos, but I also do nofap as well. So I have all these things kind of like weighing heavily on my shoulders and I'm constantly looking for an escape whether or not I know it or not. I mean, I have the consciousness to realize that my body is looking for some type of escape, but I wanna find one without the means of drugs. I wanna find one without the means of like, uh, binging on food or you know watching too much television because all that is me trying to escape my purpose me trying to escape the grind me trying to escape the work that I need to do to become a better person so for the past like 15 days that's kind of what's been changing for me and I think you know moving forward guys and girls is like when you get to this point like the cravings aren't gonna go away like I just told you I had a dream about smoking I still think about it it's not hard not to smoke anymore. And this is where it becomes difficult because you forget about the first 30 days. You forget about the depression, the anxiety, the hardship. And you start to think like, you know what? You know, maybe smoking is better than what I'm doing now. Like, you know, I'm drinking more. Maybe I should just go back to smoking weed or I'm smoking nicotine now. Maybe I should go back to smoking weed. But that's you just trying to replace another bad habit with a new bad habit. Like I said, where instead it's like, all right, this isn't working for me and this isn't working for me. I need to let go of both and find something new, which is where I'm at now. I don't really know what the next step is for me. Uh, I mean, I'm, not, I'm just like you guys, normal person. So I don't really know where I'm gonna go next, but I know that I wanna stay sober for a while or forever. I don't know yet. I mean, I'm, I have nothing against weed. I have nothing against drinking in moderation, but I always notice that the day after, I just don't feel good. Like after I smoked two black and milds last week or four or five days ago, I got really sick the next day. It made me not want to smoke again. And I try to remember that. Like the other day, um, you know, I was thinking about drinking wine or, or weed and I was like, you know what? Like, don't think about your craving. Think about the day after how you feel like. And it really helps me. It doesn't help a, 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 a lot, but it does help a little bit to go, okay, that's the reason why I shouldn't be doing that. Although I have this craving, I need to think about the consequences of that and what that could be doing for me. So that's where I'm at on this journey. I don't wanna make this video too long. I already know I've been rambling a lot, but hopefully something in this video will resonate with you. I think my tips for you guys are to really pay attention to why you have these cravings, what are you trying to replace it with, and like, you know, what kind of excuses are you trying to make? Because at this point, this is probably what's happening. You're trying to find a reason why to make it okay again, or you're trying to find something that's gonna replace it. And maybe you found something that's good. Like maybe you found painting or drawing or something, and that's been your new replacement. And it's healthy for you. That's, that's fine. Like for me, I have been doing other things. I have been getting better in a lot of other parts of my life, but I'm still overeating a little bit more than I'm used to. I'm still craving like a little nicotine. You know, that's why I want to stop everything and just kind of have a clean slate for a while. So that's where I'm at, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also got a haircut, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon for the 60-day update. Peace. <laughs>